Yo yo, what is up everyone? We are playing Support Anvil and look at this start. Three, two start, one costs. I think we're probably gonna take slamming here. Just slam items. Wow, I have another one. Um, I think it's Lockout. I'm pretty sure it's Lockout. I'm probably buying this Ari. We sack one. Okay, but isn't it Ribbon next actually? Uh, we're gonna slam Gargoyles. Bow and Sibia and Tia. It's probably Redemption. This is probably Last Whisper. Uh, and then, like, honestly, give Garen Locket. Why not? Yeah, if I could sell Ari to level, I would here. But, I mean, Slamming is going to give me 2 XP, so I'm going to level for free next turn anyway. I mean, we have a good start. It's just whether or not we win the first round. Like, if we win the first round, our spot's insane. Yeah, I'm, I'm so tanky. Like, I'm actually so tanky. Go team. This guy, this guy really wants to win. He slammed belt jacks. This might combat cost a diff me here. Okay, never mind, I win it for sure. It's a really good win for me. Like, it's an insane win. I probably don't play Ari too. I probably play um, Riven for Kale. Wow. Wow. Some speed here, because I'm going to play towards Last Whisper. And then something like this. Uh, I probably hold Teemo. Teemo's probably better than Ari too. Unless I go Zoe plus Ari here instead. But it's probably Teemo. I even kind of like this because then Sivir doesn't get targeted by top left unit, but it's okay. I don't think I'm ever playing Fortune from this spot, mainly just because I have um I have two stars on everywhere. I have like so much so many two stars that like I probably am able to win streak rather than just playing playing Fortune. And win streaking with slamming is just a good way of um, making free econ anyway. Like you, you don't need the fortune if you have this board. I get four XP here off slamming. I got another four next turn. I'm gonna buy this. I'm gonna sell the fortune unit, and I'm probably selling the Ari to make econ. Kind of sucks because Ari two is actually a really good unit. Uh, it is what it is. Ideally, I win next turn. If I win next turn, we're, we're in a really good spot. I mean, these guys all look weaker than me. Uh, yeah, I mean, they all do. This guy's a little strong. But my Sibio's on the Nar, which is pretty good. And he has no healing. Also very good. Nice. That's a great round. Jax is a bit of a beast. Uh, we definitely sell the Ari. We could have pre-leveled, actually. I see, like, maybe I keep Ari in pre-level. Probably not. It's probably fine. Like, team is my next unit, anyway. I want to slam an item here, so... Um, Last Whisper's best. Otherwise, it's Redemption. Otherwise, it's uh, Rod for Teemo, and we go towards Morello. Or Sword. Sword someone. Okay, it's not Last Whisper. Two bows left. I mean, two belts left. A state belt for Redemption Slam. We, we still need another belt later anyway for um, Morello, so it doesn't feel that bad. Gonna level here. Uh, now I kind of want to just frontline the locket, even though I lose value. I lose two units value of locket, but I think it's still better. I actually should probably play. Actually, this is fine. This is fine. I mean, our spot's really, really good. I can't can't feel upset in this spot. Have good damage, good frontline. If I had Last Whisper and a Morello, this game's over for sure. 
Guy has healing orbs. It's really good with the ghostly, but like the problem is he just can't get through my jack, so. He's not gonna heal up, unfortunately, for him. Boom. Five unit loss. Although they did, they did change damage now. So, um. Like if you take big losses, it doesn't you don't take as much HP anymore. But if you take smaller losses, you take more than before. It used to be when you were like above three three units, every extra unit would add two damage. Now it's one. Oh, interesting. Do I have a level six here? Guys, I don't really need this, but that's what it is. Okay, we got Timo. Actually, to be honest, we didn't hear anything because Timo was from our natural shop, but it's okay. And maybe I should have bought bruises. I didn't see an Aatrox. I, I guess I saw Rek'Sai's. size. I could have definitely thought about it longer. Definitely could have. Okay, I mean, I, I, I do struggle versus the Nar guy, I think. Be yeah, nice for Inter Fortune. Wait, is his trainer Fortune? Oh, it's not. I see, like, you're gonna need to play Fortune if you have this trainer. Umbral Sniper, it's probably fated. Umbral with Set, Sniper with Ashophilius, and you, like, play for Sniper, maybe. Twenty gold here. This guy's zero gold. Ten gold. I mean, I'm kinda rich. This guy has three dupes. Holy moly. Another Sibia. Three dupes is insane. He's pivoting out of Nah. This guy has a cane. Dude, this guy's pivoting into Nah. <laughs> what a game. There's so many Nah players. I mean, I think Nar is like the best comp in the game right now, but contested, it feels a bit bad because you kind of need Nar 3 and good good, uh, good augments as well. I don't hate red buff here, but I don't love it. Another support item. You want something that has value, shares value with your current support item if you're going to play another support item. So like, for example, Zeke's shares value because I can leak Zeke's and lock it. ZZ Rot shares value because I can lock it the ZZ Rot. Ashton, yo, nice to see you. Uh, Randuin's kind of shares value, but it's only two units, so you don't love it. Honestly, here you probably want ZZ Rot or Zeke's. I kind of like the Zeke's here. Uh, I'm going to play Zyra so I can slam the bow. Oh, I should I should have swapped Zyra and Teemo. That was a mistake, yeah. Warning, just to the people who had a 180 fortune cash out and died one battle before cash out. That is sad. That is sad. That is very upsetting. This guy's gonna win out. Scoreboard scrapper fortune? Holy moly. He's cooking. He is cooking. I have good, two good pairs. My my components are pretty good too. Don't feel upset in this spot. Two for one, Rascal's Gloves. It's probably Rascal's Gloves. Uh, you don't hate Trash for Treasure here. I feel like I should play more Trash to Treasure, so maybe, maybe I'm actually playing it. I get to finish off Morello and Lost Whisper if I hit as well. I'm pretty sure I'm playing Buried Treasure, actually. But the problem is I have Slammin'. Tiny but Deadly. I'm actually going to go check stats on Tiny but Deadly Kaisa. How long do I have? 13 seconds. Explorer. Kaisa 2. Augments. 4.25. Just click it. It's combat power right now. Just click it. It's like meh. It's like meh. It's it's meh. I think Buried Treasure is really good for me, but like, I'm win streaking, so I'd rather have something that gives me immediate combat power. 
This guy has Aphelios too. Pretty scary. Aphelios too is definitely scary. Okay, it was buried treasure because I've lost the round anyway. We can look to tech in fortune. That's not the end of the world. We just need a Tristano or a Kabuko. Didn't hit. Twenty eight is our actual is actually our interval. Oh I didn't I didn't seek Sylvia. What a mistake. I mean my my front line is Dece. It's not bad. What's my ink shadow? Force. I don't love force, yeah. I mean, maybe I can play a level 9 comp. Maybe I can play a level 9 comp. Honestly, it was probably red buff, guys. Uh, red buff Sevilla. Instead of greeting for Last Whisper. It was probably just slam red buff Sevilla. I think that was probably a mistake. Because I can go fast 9 here instead. This guy's so strong. Like, unbelievably strong. Oh my gosh, I didn't kill a unit. Wait, I mean, this guy is... Not two. Was that four dupes? Three dupes. Nara on Carousel. Oh gosh. Okay, Tristan, we tech in Fortune. I don't hate it. This guy got a free Nara. Yeah, we got the last whisper. Feels a bit better. Does feel a bit better. Okay, I'm kind of down to tech and fortune as well here. Drop the Zyra level. Play play three fortune. Doesn't look awful. It doesn't look awful at all. I get full Zeke's value as well. You don't hate it. I feel like Story Weaver is just worth as opener. Yeah, it's definitely just an opener. I mean, most of the time people will play Story Weaver till stage three and then then uh, put in Fortune. I'm 40 gold, level seven here. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. I have, I have very good Kaisa Galio items. We don't even care if we win, because we haven't even lost one yet. So either way, we're chilling. Not bad, not bad, not bad. 750? Is anyone 750? I don't think they should be. Six, six, six. I might... Oh my gosh, this guy has double dupe. Wait, he can just dupe Kaiser 2 right now. Holy moly. This guy's 57. Two rounds. Holy. We're in trouble, team. Uh, this lobby is going to be so giga capped. This guy has Kaiser with complete... Like, if this was Manazine, it'd be complete best. But it's three really good items. And he has double dupe spare. I'm into the fortune guy here. This guy's gonna get a great loss into me, I think. Actually, maybe he can't kill the Jax. He's 5 fortune as well, so he's healing. He definitely survives too. 11 HP. He's 32, 34 next turn, and he catches the turn after. Bro, if I was him, I'd, I'd be playing with that raise button. <laughs> There's no way you do it, but I'd be tempted. I'd be tempted. Because, like, 90 cash is no, nothing. There's no diff. But a 100 cash is a, is a big thing. 75 has no difference to a 90 cash. I'm pretty sure. Maybe I'm lying. I, I'm actually going to go check. But I'm pretty sure that's true. Let me check. It goes 70, then 95. Wait, does he get 95? Oh, he gets 95. Oh, wait, never mind. Bro, this guy's going to cash 100 gold. This guy's about to cash 100 gold. Morello. I guess I buy the Amumu. It's over Jax. Morello is good. Um, I want to slam an item, right? So, 
It's probably Guardbreaker, unless I split these components up. Kinda down to split the components up. Okay, I mean, we probably have to roll before this guy double dupes. Because if he double dupes Kaisa and then we roll, it's really bad. So there are three Kaisas out the pool. I'm gonna get collected here. Okay, high key, this Amumu's a beast though. Okay, I legit just tried his best right there. I don't even have that much gold to roll with. 96 cash. I need to become strong now. By the specif, yeah. Silas 2 is not bad. Nice, uh. Cheap shot. This, uh, eight shots. Mr. Tom Kench. Timo. Galio. Timo in. Sell, sell, sell. Sell, sell. In. Sip, yeah. It's lit. Uh, last whisper slammed. Uh, lock it on front line. You want to roll further for Kaisa here. Bard takes items. Six can go here. Crit is almost always here. You have a remover, so you don't really care. Galio can take Bell. Sibir can take this. Okay, nice. You like Recon Bob here because you have two star Mumu, and there are lots of four costs in this comp. So you like Recon Bob a lot here. We probably have to roll deeper for Kaiser too. I, I don't know if I'm actually stable yet. I actually don't know if I'm stable yet. I just need a dupe, man. Just give me a dupe. Like, am I really rolling deep for Kaiser? Probably. What the hell? Okay, I shouldn't have rolled. I regret everything. 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 It's fine. It's fine. It's, it's actually okay. It's actually okay. I think. I think it's fine. Like, I'm one off Kaisa, one off Galio. Both are huge upgrades. Okay, I think I have to roll because there are two fortune caches. Like, if I'm not rolling here, when am I rolling? You know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm contesting this guy and this guy both on Kaisa. Like, I think I have to roll. And he didn't use his dupes when I rolled. So it's like, there are way more Kaisas in the pool. Like, I'm pretty sure I have to roll there. My board, my board's really good though. It became a lot stronger. And I need to just like, because there are two massive fortune caches in this lobby, I need to just save HP. That's like the main thing I need to do here. Just save as much HP as- HOLY! Eight ghostly. Kais Azaya. Oh my god, that's terrifying. Kane 2. Okay, I'm literally dog rolling every time by the way, team. Uh, this bow. I have healing reduck. I have lost whisper. Uh, I'm down for armor or rod. God, I nearly took belt. Okay, honestly, belt would have wouldn't have been that bad. Belt wouldn't have been that bad. Okay, we're rolling. We're just dog rolling. Please. Okay. Double gargoyles. Remove one. Put one on Galio. Then we need to we need to save one remover for Sivia bow. I'm like I'm I have to fight this guy for Kaiser too. But he's gonna dupe it now. He hit one. Wait, he's not duping. Okay, honestly he's so strong he doesn't need to dupe Kaiser, does he? Okay, he's into the other fortune cash guy who has Kaiser too. Could be an interesting fight. I I'm into the, the A ghostly guy. 
which is probably not great for me. Dude, my Silas is a beast. Wait, I won. I'm a beast! Maybe I didn't need to roll. Holy! Maybe I didn't need to dog roll. I'd be like 30, 40 gold right now. I'd be 30 gold. Okay, honestly, I'm, I'm econing back up now. We're fine. We're not fine. It's the top four play to econ here, but like, I don't know, man. Do we really just go for a top four here? Do his Badoom Nah. That's terrifying. That's actually terrifying. Badoom Nah is scary. Is there a way I can make the Nah all wrong? Maybe this. I'm in two. I mean, this board doesn't look that scary. This guy's doomed, though. Go, Silas. Wait. Wait, maybe it is scary. I don't think it's scary. We're fine. Okay, wait. Actually, my matchmaking was so good, by the way. I dodged both these trick shot guys like the whole stage. I should have econed. But it's hard to say whether I'm gonna dodge every single trick shot guy or not. 56 from level. Like, okay, honestly, like as soon as I play these two, I take like 36 HP loss. So it's a bit rough. Like, that, that, that's so strong. It's like if I hit Kaiser 2, it's top 4 for sure. I mean, maybe just because of my HP, it's okay. We'll see. Yeah, I'm probably reforging this armor. Sword. Okay, sword. And then reforge bow or reforge armor. Reforge armor. Red buff. I.e. red buff. Should we just red buff Saya then? It's definitely not Nash's, so... Red buff's Aya. Why do I not like that? Like, why do I think it's red buff Kai'Sa? Because she has two items already. It's probably just red buff Kai'Sa. Okay, I might take a fat loss here, team. But it's expected. It's expected. Yo, Nomtsi, thanks so much for the follow. I appreciate you. I'm down to kill, like, a couple units. I think I killed the dummy and the ZZ Rock. 16. And the next time I play, the, the time I play the next Fortune guy, I'm taking another 16. Okay, I need to wait for this Kai'Sa guy to die. Because as soon as he plays the other Fortune guy, it's, it's, it's good for me. Like, then it's winnable. This guy's center three. It's pretty strong. Do I like the positioning I had before? Okay. Whenever I play Ghostly, I like spl splitting up the Ghostly damage. And the way you do that is you get Kaiser on the Silas. And then you get the other Ghostly units on other units. So, like... But if I play Nar, it's, it's rough. But, like, what can you do? You play Nar, you play Nar. If you play Senna, you don't. This guy's really strong as well. Really, really tough matchup for me. Kaiser 2, maybe I win it. But without Kaiser 2, it's very tough. Okay, I'm down to kill a couple. Like honestly, yeah, it's 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 a great loss. It's a great loss. Oh my gosh, they survived with one HP. Okay, the thing is, everyone loses into Hypno, and I'm pretty sure nearly everyone loses into the other guy too. Think Shadow in. You don't. Okay, you don't love rolling here because you you want Hypno to to uh, kill day end for you before you roll. You kind of love switch side here. Because you have more access to the... You have more access to the backline units. Okay, the only thing you don't love here is that your Silas is on the wrong side for this guy. So like, this guy's gonna stack ghostly here. So then kill it, then stack ghostly on Galio, then kill it, then stack ghostly on Riven. And it's a bit of a nightmare. 
my Kais is dead. Okay, you just... Okay, Hypno killed one. We still need Hypno to play... Oh wait, he did kill Z... Oh no, we need, we need Hypno to play Day End. And then we roll for Kaisa. Uh, I mean, we want we want uh, an item for our Zaya here if we can get one. Renan's is pretty good. In fact, Renan's is really good. I mean, you just you just pray matchmaking saves you here. That's like all you can do. I, I mean, I beat this guy. I might be able to beat other people too. The thing is, like, I feel like I should roll here, but I want I want the Kaiser guy to lose. But if I roll here and hit Gallia too, like, it's probably a good enough upgrade that I can beat the Duelist guy. It's a toughie. It's definitely a toughie. Because I'm one life, next loss. Uh, maybe I'm not. Depends on what, how good my team does. I'm into Nah. I'm into now. Oh, my Silas. Do the Silas thing. Yeah, it's not a bad loss. They end still winning. They still haven't played each other. Really rough for me. Okay, we have to roll here. We're one life. Good idea. Galio two. Okay, now we wait. I mean, the thing is, every single Kais is out the pool because both of them are holding Kaisers on bench. They both have one Kaiser on bench. So, like, is that counterplay? Not really. And I'm into either one of them, so that means they can't play each other again. Unless I'm into their ghost and they play each other, in which case GG. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, they're not playing each other though. Okay, I mean, I'm Zephyr here. I'm pretty sure I take infinite damage, by the way. Oh, I see, I miss it. I feel like it's not a, not a bad game considering I'm into two Giga Fortune cached people. Like, I'll take it, I'll take it, I'll take it, it's whatever. GG everyone, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, remember to like, comment, subscribe. You guys are the goats if you made it this far. Thank you.